This month marks the 20th anniversary of the Americans with Disabilities Act, a wide-ranging... I thought the uh, ADA came out in 1990. That would make it 24. Sort of, but Title III came into effect in July 1994. Gotcha. The official ADA regulation was signed July 26, 1990 by President George H.W. Bush. Title II, which covers state and local governments, and Title III, which covers public accommodations, naturally both are important. And well, well, what about Title I? What about it? Well, you didn't mention it. Yeah, Title I covers employment. Well, why didn't you mention it? I don't know. Trying to dance around this whole 20th anniversary thing, aren't you? Uh, in fact, Senator Tom Harkin introduced the bill to the Senate, which passed by a vote of 76 to 8 on a vote that was held in 1989. So maybe we should call this the 25th anniversary. Yeah, no. It wasn't signed into law until July 26, 1990. 24. So the ADA is a wide-ranging civil rights law that prohibits, under certain circumstances, discrimination based on disability. It affords similar protections against discrimination to Americans with disabilities as the Civil Rights Act of 1964, which made discrimination based on race, religion, sex, national origin, or other characteristics illegal. Disability is defined by the ADA as a physical or mental impairment that substantially limits a major life activity. Like not knowing how to do subtraction. Americans with disabilities, unlike Canadians who are soon to have disabilities, comprise one of the largest minority groups in the United States. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, approximately 20% of Americans have one or more diagnosed physical or psychological disability. Census 2000 counted 49.7 million people with some type of long-lasting condition or disability. They represented 19.3% of the 257.2 million people who were aged 5 and older, or nearly one person in five. On September 25, 2008, President George W. Bush signed the ADA Amendments Act of 2008 into law. The ADAAA made a number of significant changes to the ADA definition of disability to ensure it would be easier for individuals seeking the protection of the ADA to establish that they have a disability that falls within the meaning of the statute. So, basically, that's the ADAAA. <sighs> gotcha. Where I'm from in Ontario, Canada, we have the AODA. The AODA? The Accessibility for Ontarians with Disabilities Act 2005 is a statute enacted in 2005 for the purpose of improving accessibility standards for Ontarians with physical and mental disabilities to all public establishments by 2025. 2025. Now we figured we'd take your lead on the 508 refresh. Okay, so the Accessibility for Ontarians with Disabilities Act, isn't that the A-O-D-A? Keeps getting funnier. So about this 20th anniversary of the 5th anniversary of the vote being passed? We needed something relevant to talk about. Right. Well, the 20th anniversary of Title III is clearly an important milestone. Under Title III, no individual may be discriminated against on the basis of disability with regards to the full and equal enjoyment of the goods, services, facilities, or accommodations of any place of public accommodation by any person who owns, leases, or leases to, or operates a place of public accommodation. <gasps> Public accommodations include most places of lodging, such as inns and hotels, recreation, transportation, education, and dining, along with stores, care providers, and places of public display, among other things. Hmm. Well, when the ADA was first written, the World Wide Web did not exist. Since the early days of the web, there have been several lawsuits relating to accessibility of websites and web-based applications. While the Department of Justice has consistently stated their position is that Title III does apply to the web, the actual text of the law does not explicitly state this. There's been recent pressure to have the law state this more explicitly. With the ADA reaching such an important milestone, we sent field reporter Eric Wright out to get your take on this. Are you aware of the Americans with Disabilities anniversary coming up? I was not aware of the anniversary. Okay. Are you aware of the upcoming Americans with Disabilities Act anniversary? Uh, yes. What do you plan to do to celebrate? I hadn't really thought of that. What can we do to rectify that today? I don't know. How are you going to celebrate? Um, I don't know to be honest. You got me there. Got me shorthanded. What's your favorite disability? 
Uh, blindness. Blindness. Sight, sight impaired. That's interesting. You know, my favorite disability is the one that affects me personally. Perfect. Color blindness. Oh, color blindness. Yeah. Well, we have some color blind people in the office. No kidding. Absolutely. Yeah. You know. We have a permit to be taking video on property. All right. So, uh, so with all the heat Eric got into uh, doing his interviews, Billy and I are gonna go hit the street to see what we can get done. So we're here in Reston, Virginia. We are interviewing people at the Reston Town Center, uh, just getting their take on the ADA, seeing what's up. Not a lot of support for the ADA, I gotta tell you. Maybe people just don't care enough yet. Let's see if Carl and I can change their opinion. So uh, with this important uh, anniversary, how do you guys plan on celebrating? Well, we've had a few drinks, so maybe... She started the celebration already. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we knew about this obviously earlier. Yeah, ahead of time. And <laughs> yes, we planned this all along, yeah. Um, by working, probably. By working. Do you know what the ADA is? I have no idea. Are you guys familiar with the Americans with Disabilities Act? Semi. Semi? How do you guys plan on celebrating this, this momentous occasion? Well, we're about to go out to eat, so I guess we <laughs> can do a little toast. You can do a little, all right, that, I guess that's fair. Now, uh, we were just wondering, how do you plan on celebrating? Um, voting for the Disabled Act through the Senate. <laughs> oh. Do you, under, do you know that there's a 20th anniversary coming up? No, I do not. Are you older or younger than the ADA Title III? We're 20. You're tw so you're the exact same age. So you guys are the. So if you guys were the ADA, how would you want to celebrate your 20th birthday? Maybe we could throw a party for it. And now a message from our sponsor. From the team that brought you back talk comes a revolutionary innovation in assistive technology, presenting the Goggle Androne. I've been using service animals to help me get around for years. I used to go everywhere with my dog and she was fantastic. I relied on her for pretty much everything, but as a working professional with a hectic schedule, I just didn't have the time to look after a dog and I needed something that could work on my schedule with zero compromise. I looked into different types of assistive technology, but I couldn't find one device that could keep up with my lifestyle. Then a friend told me about the Androne. The patented technology is whisper quiet. Most people don't even notice Androne. With a built-in alarm and its GPS wayfinding, Androne remembers common routines, destinations, and preset paths. Not only is Androne one step ahead of you, it already knows the way. Warning, obstacle ahead. And navigating the office is easier than ever. You'll be at your desk before anyone knows you're there. Thanks to Androne, you and your team will be more productive than ever. 1 p.m. Time to leave for appointment with Dr. Schrader. No loud, stinky dogs taking up space on elevators anymore. But wait, there's more! Thanks to Androne's facial recognition software linked directly to your contact list, you'll never be surprised by someone you don't recognize. This is contact name Minuteman. Added to contact list at 3.15 a.m. last Friday. From navigation to recognition to managing my schedule, can a dog do that? The Androne is the perfect assistive technology no matter what your lifestyle. Androne, the last assistive technology you'll ever need. Supplies are limited. Call now. So the ADA is turning 20. Or 24. Depending on how you look at it. And it looks like the nation is poised to celebrate. What kind of party does someone that age even have? I don't know, but it probably starts with them needing to get a fake ID to get booze. <laughs> yeah, if the ADA was a real person, it would already have neck tattoos and be sending me Facebook invites to go see its band. It'd be sending me Snapchats from places that don't even open until two hours past my bedtime. It would have a Kickstarter for its own social networking app. It would totally be like in the vintage stuff, like CDs. <laughs> and it'd be using its mom's car to be an Uber driver. I'll tell you one thing. That'd at least be a driver that would accept service animals. Ow. Oh, it'd be uh, applying to grad school so it could avoid paying rent to live in mom's basement. Well, that's true. But no matter how you choose to celebrate, on behalf of everyone here at the Viking and Lumberjack, have a safe and happy ADA anniversary. Woo! Peace. Yeah. Next time on The Viking and the Lumberjack. We are thrilled to bring you an exclusive interview with someone who has intimate knowledge of the Section 508 refresh. 
someone with unrestricted and unparalleled access to all the inner workings of this highly anticipated, yet oft-delayed piece of legislation. We are pleased to announce our guest today, the law itself, the 508 Refresh. Do you remember what? No, 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 no. No. Just what's my day? You don't have to fly. <laughs> Androne, what's my day? Not fly. <laughs> God. This is the most frustrating thing ever. Okay. <laughs> Well, that's done with that. <laughs> 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 that's work. Do you like the Viking or the lumberjack? Yeah, no, which is your favorite? Viking. Your friend has a, is having a huge party to celebrate the ADA, and she hasn't even told you. She hasn't invited you. It's not much of a friend. Is this a friend? Sister? Ex friend? Ex friend, yeah, apparently, yeah. <laughs> friend told me about the android. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> you're natural. You're a star, baby. Camera has 10 pounds of sexy. <laughs> did you just not do that? Okay. We'll <laughs> pretend you, you just did her? not. <laughs> People. Dude, you, have you ever seen somebody doing this? With the microphone. <laughs> You're clearly more animated than I am. I need to fix that. Coke. Um, yeah, do I need to put my lipstick on? <laughs> no, no. I mean, mine wore off hours ago. I wouldn't bother. <laughs> you have no minds. <laughs> it's my show now. <laughs> <laughs> the ADAAA. ADAAA. So how do you guys enforce the ADA? Do you have like an ADA team? I pity the fool that got no whips. <laughs> ADA team. <laughs> Fatalities! Fatalities! Finish him! So the ADA is turning 20 or... I just thought I'd ratchet it up. Oh boy! Sorry. Yeah. Sorry about that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm not sorry. Canada's not sorry. If you enjoyed our Androne commercial spoof and would like to submit your own idea for a similar parody commercial for the Viking and the Lumberjack, please email us at info at tvworldwide.com.